Hey, what's up everybody? So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A type of video. I get a lot of questions in my comments and as well as in my Instagram inbox and even on Snapchat um, regarding school, regarding life. So I wanted to go ahead and try and answer a lot of these questions in this video in a more in-depth way. So yeah, I'm just going to be pulling from my Instagram and like any of the comments. They might be from like a while ago, but I feel like a lot of these comments are recurring. So I'm just going to go ahead and answer them and let's just get in the video. Also, I just wanted to put a disclaimer that I do get a lot of questions asked specifically about my school and I would encourage you to Google some of those questions. Just because I'm not a representative of my school, I would encourage you to um, either speak to a counselor or to look that up online. And I'll kind of point out um, those questions here and there. But yeah, let's just get into it. Can you please do a video on how you studied for your most difficult classes? Can you talk more about pharmacology and med surge? And where did you purchase your textbooks and did you use them a lot? Um, okay, so for pharmacology, I honestly cannot speak to you like, greatly on that just because I didn't perform that well in that class. Um, but I would say that you do catch on to it later on. I feel like I was, so going into nursing school, I never really had any healthcare background. So all these names of drugs were completely foreign to me. So I think just familiarizing yourself, I feel like had I had some sort of healthcare background, I would have understood the drugs a lot better because I'd see them in practice. But as you go along in nursing school, it gets a little bit easier. Um, I would say that the biggest thing that helped me in that class would be like just having flashcards, whether those are like handmade or you buy like the Mosby Pharmacology. Um, so I would encourage using flashcard use because there are a lot of times where you're like, you can put them in your purse, you can put them in your clinical bag, and you can like bring them along with you and kind of flip through them. So repetition is key in pharmacology. Um, and then med search, I do have a video on that. I'll probably link it down below. Um, and then where did I purchase my books and did I use them a lot? Okay, everyone's experience is different according to books. Wise, I did purchase like this big book because this is a book that we use like a lot. Oh my god. It's kind of an older edition, just because I didn't want to pay for the new edition. Um, but I would say that's like the only book that I did, that I actually did purchase. My school uses ATI, so I use that book a lot. And then, um, yeah, I didn't buy any other books. Someone asked me, how long is a program for me? So for me, oh my gosh, there's like a piece of lint. <laughs> so for me, the program, um, I started in January 2017 and I end in August of 2019 so roughly for me it's about two and a half years a little more than that yeah about two and a half years um, yep <laughs> yeah it's about two and a half years um, it really depends on person if you do start and end there and you don't take any GEs that transfer over it might be like three and a half I think but I did take some like courses like at UCR and a community college. Okay, someone asked me, do they reduce the cost of your tuition if you decide to buy your own books? No, they don't because specifically in my school, I feel like a lot of schools too, they don't include the books within the tuition. So no, they don't. How do I study for ATI alongside the actual class which uses the textbook? And can you do a detailed video on how to write med search to grasp the concepts. Um, so I use Google Docs and I use the, I'll type out my notes from class and I'll put that there. And then in a different color, I'll put my ATI notes. And then in, on top of that, I'll reference like the textbook if I really, really need it. I just put them all into one document because I feel like that's a lot easier to do. Hey, what camera do you use? Okay, so actually when this comment was commented, <laughs> I was using my phone and I have like an iPhone, I think it's a 7 actually. I was initially using that for the longest time and it wasn't until like a couple months ago, maybe like February this year, that I decided to invest in a G7X. So yeah, now we use the Mark II, G7X Mark II I think. Um, Did you take all your GEs there? If so, how long does it take that take if you need to take all your GEs there? So again, this is like one of the questions that I would encourage you to refer to a counselor 
because I did finish my GEs like maybe like two years ago so I would encourage you to ask but I did take some of my GEs elsewhere um, and then I transferred them over which is why it's not the traditional three and a half years total I only have two and a half years of this school which I really like I didn't want to have to take three and a half years at my school <laughs> Um, when it comes to GE math or, or overall in general, would you say the math would you say the math portion is difficult? Okay, so I know some people aren't that good at math, and like personally, I'm not that good at math. But if we're talking like nursing wise, you really only need to know basic algebra, stoichiometry to get by, like as a nurse knowing math. So. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Okay, I know I had some questions on Instagram, and maybe that will make it, but I'll just keep them anonymous because I don't know if they care to be in the video. So someone was like, hi, Jasmine, you're almost done with nurse school, yay. Yeah, yay, thank God. <laughs> um, can't wait to see a video of your review on WCU. Yeah, okay, so it's not technically a review. I want to give a very, very objective video on like my experience obviously it's like my channel so I'm going to give some sort of opinion and there may be a bias in the video but I will give mainly the facts and that's what I really hope to do um, any tips on how to get a high GPA while working or is that not doable no that's definitely doable like I feel like for me my highest GPAs were when I was working um, yeah, I remember I had to work during like mental health, med surge. Um, I stopped working for a little while. So mental health and med surge, I actually like got dean's list. So that's why it is doable, definitely. But I would say that I was only working minimal hours. I was working like part time, and then eventually, as I progressed more into the program, I had gotten um, like a CNA job when I was in public health. No, no, when I was in pediatrics, and that's when um, I got a per diem job. So I would say it's definitely doable with a per diem job. I personally never worked a full-time job in nursing school. Congrats to anyone who has, because like that's really, really difficult. But I personally thought that like even sometimes with my per diem job, it was hard. Um, as you go along in the program, especially when you're at the end where it's... Um, when you're in critical care, I couldn't handle it anymore, and I just ended up um, having to stop working. And so it's really up to you, though. Then, how flexible is it to switch classes to a different day or try to condense GEs as much as possible? So I took a lot of my GEs outside of West. Oh my gosh, I don't want to say the name. So I did take a lot of my GEs outside of the school because it's way cheaper and. Honestly, sometimes the curriculum and everything is just a lot better outside. So I would encourage you to try and get your GEs elsewhere. Um, how easy is it? Um, I can answer this just based on my own experience. But I still would ask your counselors, please, because I'm not a representative of the school at all. I would say that it's like kind of easy for the most part to switch classes around. I've definitely done that a couple of times. And I've honestly didn't have that much of an issue sometimes, but I will say that nowadays because there's like this influx of students that it is a little bit harder to switch around your classes because there are so many people trying to move around and accommodate their work schedule or like their family schedule. So I would still check in with your counselor for that question. Um, someone said, need your help, lol. Okay. Um... They're trying to register for GE Capstone, but not sure if I should take it online or on campus. Okay, this is another question that I would also ask your counselor about. But for me, my personal experience with GE Capstone, I took it in person. I don't really regret taking it in person just because I feel like I'm more motivated and more driven when I'm in a physical class. But I would say that it's definitely doable as an online class. So it's up to you, your preference. If you live far, I would say do it online. Um, any recommendations? I'm also taking Patho. Oh, I love Patho. Patho is one of my favorite GE courses. And that's like one of your biggest, like, that's one of the classes that you definitely actually use in nursing. So, yeah, 
I can't give you any like specific recommendations on that but all I can really say is just know that class well. Okay, now we're going to swap back to my laptop because I didn't answer all the questions here. So this is actually a question for Alex but he's not even here. But maybe one day he'll come and ask or answer this question. Yeah, there's actually a lot of questions for Alex, so maybe he should do like a bioengineering video. And um, someone's asking me where I get my practice questions. Honestly, this is how I find my practice questions. Just Google and just Google NCLEX, the subject, and then Quizlet. And that's how you can find practice questions. Um, where did I get my laptop stand? Oh, that's a really, really common question actually. Um, and they're probably talking about that one right over there. Um, it's on Amazon. It's like one of my favorite purchases like on Amazon ever. So I really like it because it helps with my posture. I have like really, really bad posture. What shoes do I wear for a clinical? Um, I wear the Nike Air Max 90. And I bought those like on Amazon like for pretty cheap because I bought it in the kit size. But it's really up to your school's thing. I don't know why my hair looks so janky today. But I initially didn't buy those for clinical. I actually had bought like some Skechers ones because they told us that we're not supposed to wear shoelaces. But later on I realized like they don't really care. So I ended up buying like the Nike Air Max and I was using them as like casual shoes. But then I ended up just using it for clinical because, um, just because. I don't even know why. I really like those shoes. I don't know why I used it for clinical. Now it's all dirty and gross and I can never wear it. Someone was asking for an update. How do I do my next update? probably at the end of this program honestly um how often do you work so when this person was asking me i'm pretty sure they were asking me when i was at my cna job and that was a per diem job so it was like 12 hours one day a week so i get a lot of questions about like jobs do you have a job i'm afraid i'll have to quit my job yeah i guess like the overall question would be like is it possible to work with a nursing school and I guess like my final real answer is it really depends on which term. So for example, fundamentals, I wish I had been working, but I didn't. Med search one pharm and pharmacology, no, I did not work. That was like a really difficult term for me. Um, mental health, I did work. Med search two, I did work. Um, OB, oh, OB, I stopped working. I don't know why I did. I think I got kind of tired of working, honestly. I'm just kind of lazy. Um, for me, I didn't have to work for a living, and that's always dependent on a person's situation. Um, but no, I didn't work in OB. PEDS, I did pick up a job, and I started working from PEDS all the way to like week five of critical care. And that was like probably my favorite job because I was in a healthcare setting and I worked with like. Um, I worked within the psychiatric population. Um, somebody asked, love the intro, what's the name of the song? So the song that I use um, in the beginning of all my intros um, is Indian Summer by Jai Wolf. I really love EDM, so that's why I chose that song. I have yet to see Jai Wolf, so I'm really excited to see him eventually. Um, and yeah, that's the song. If you, Okay, if anyone's noticed, like, I had to cut it down because, for one, the intro was too long, and then two, I used too much of the song, so I got copyrighted for it. Someone asked me where I had gotten my eyelashes done. Or, my eyelashes. Um, I used the 3D False Extensions Long Lashes with Volume, and they're from Amazon as well. How do you find time to go to raves? Okay, so I get this question even in real life. Like, how do I find time to go to raves? Um... I feel, okay, some people go on vacation, and like for me, I go to raves. Personally, it's like my way of escaping. And for one, I don't have to travel like for two days to drive to a rave. I just live, happen, I just happen to live close by, and like Alex happens to live close by. I just really, really love the music and just like the whole vibe of it. And that's my way of um, preventing any type of burnout. I would say that I've like experienced like really really bad burnout prior to that. Do you get used to people giving birth because I want to become one but it's kind of kind of seems a little nasty. Oh, I'm assuming this was in my L&D rotation. Um personally, um I only was L in L&D for one day 
for literally only a couple hours but I would say I didn't think it was like too nasty if you're very comfortable with like the human body and women's health I feel like it wouldn't be as uncomfortable um I don't feel like you can ever get used to someone giving birth it's like a miracle of life and it's like something that you can't necessarily be desensitized to or I could be wrong I don't know that's just me um, someone asked, do you have a set amount of hours to do all your clinicals or can you do any amount? So, according to the VRN, which is who regulates the nursing schools, there is a minimum amount of hours you have to hit. And I know that for a fact because our school had bumped our clinical days from 12 hours to 13 hours. So yes, there is a certain amount of hours. Which brand do you buy that laptop case? Also, what color is the case? I don't know if anyone's talking about this one. But I always use the same Amazon case. I'll probably try and link it down below. Aw, someone commented, love the hair color. Thank you. That was so cute. Um, some of these comments are really cute. Oh, I love Crush. I met my boyfriend at Crush SF. That's so cute. Some of you guys are so cute when you comment. Um, can you do a fitness routine, what you eat in a day routine, and do you track your calories? No, I definitely do not track my calories. Alex kind of does that, but I don't have the time to do that. Um, can I do a fitness routine? Definitely. I was thinking of doing one eventually, but like I just haven't really gotten around to it. Which classes do you have the option to do night shift for? Is night shift mandatory or optional for clinicals? Nope, it's not for me. <laughs> um, it's absolutely mandatory for you to do night shift. Um, if you're scheduled for it, it's not optional at all. If you don't show up or if you complain about it, like um the first time i thought about it was in my peds rotation we had our night shift um and technically you could have preference one that was a day shift because there was like only one other clinical that was day shift but no you definitely do have to go do night shift i don't know if it's like a common thing now or whatever but i've had two night shift rotations it's really not as bad as you think it is but in the real world a lot of new grad nurses are night shifts, so it's a good way to get used to the whole time difference. How many days do you work out? Um, this varies really, but I definitely do try to work out at least five days a week, but if I'm going to be honest with myself, some days it's only four. What's the name of the Starbucks drink? Um, the Starbucks drink that I always drink is usually the Mango Dragon Fruit Refresher or the Strawberry Acai Refresher. So those two are my favorite ones, or like my go-tos. I'm not really like a big coffee person, maybe that's why. Um, someone wanted another workout routine. See, I really want to do these kinds of videos, but like, I also need someone to film me. Um, can you do a video on how to manage your time as a college student? I want to start going to the gym, but I don't know how to incorporate into my schedule. Yeah, definitely I will eventually kind of talk about it, or do like a workout routine video and stuff, but... How do I manage time? I definitely do my workouts, my workouts in the morning because if I go later at night, I'm more than likely just gonna skip it. If I just get my workout out of the way from the beginning and I wake up early enough, then I'll have time to do everything else later on. A lot of people ask about how I deal with student loans. Um, I feel like this is such a controversial or like a taboo, not kind of talked about thing, but um. I'm really like blessed to have my parents be able to afford my education, but um, I know that a good amount of students, like they're still paying their loans for like two to three years past when they graduate. So the loans for a lot of these private schools are kind of a lot. Another question about if I recommend this school. Um, can you do a makeup tutorial of that look? I think I have one where I was getting ready. I don't know if I was getting ready for escape or something I can't remember but yeah definitely one time I'll do like a get ready with me like, mm -hmm. and then a lot of you want me to talk about how I managed to get my preceptorship and I'll talk about that like later on as well and then people ask me where I got my glasses frames they're from Firmu I had remember they had sent me like a free pair a long time ago and I just kept buying from there. My only issue with the ones that I have, like the brown frames, is that they do 
break really easily like I've bought them twice or three times already because they've broken a couple times and then I think that's pretty much it I feel like a lot of the other questions are more so like um, I feel like a lot of the other questions could be um, discussed with your counselor so if you guys have any other questions just comment down below I would love to answer more questions um, in regards to just like anything I guess yeah thank you guys so much if you've even gotten this far in this video thank you so much for watching I know this channel continues to grow as I'm like changing as a person it's kind of like cool to look back on like all the old things that I had done when I had like first started nursing school and everything so thank you guys for following me and I know that like this journey as a nursing student is finally almost coming to a close which is like insane to even think about but anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you want any more videos like this, like and comment down below. And I'll continue to try and answer these questions in another video. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A type of video. I get a lot of questions in my comments and as well as in my Instagram inbox and even on Snapchat. Um, regarding school, regarding life, and work, regarding like fitness in general. So I wanted to kind of answer them um, in a more in-depth video. Um, I'll tr so I wanted to go ahead and try and answer a lot of these questions in this video in a more in-depth way. So yeah, I'm just going to be pulling from my Instagram and like any of the comments. They might be from like a while ago, but I feel like a lot of these comments are recurring. So I'm just going to go ahead and answer them. And let's just get in the video. And let's just get into the video. But yeah, a lot of these comments are recurring, so I just wanted to answer them in a more in-depth way. And just for you guys to kind of get a gist. Kind of get your an Kind of just get more of your questions answered in a more in-depth video. So yeah, let's just get into it.